Greetings traders out there in trader land. My name is Dez here and we're delivering the weekend edition. This weekend edition is good through Sunday, March 10th, 2013, and it's hit the ground running. Markets hit a nice high. If you look at the S&P, we are at a resistance point. If you'll see that we're at resistance here, resistance here, resistance here, and we're at this resistance here. It would not surprise me to maybe get a pop, maybe up to 1560, and then rally back down, closing below this, coming into the beginning of next week and then starting a nice drop. After all, we have popped here one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven days in a row. And now we are due for some sort of consolidation or pullback. If you look here at the weekly chart, um, it's telling a different story. We had a nice pop, we hit resistance, we'd go into a nice sideways base last week. We broke down, had a fantastic chance of just dropping and failing, but we rallied back continuing into this base and then a high base breakout boom to the upside nice breakout we do have resistance coming at 1562 so mark that down in your calendars on the weekly chart and the monthly take a look here at the monthly we stalled for the month right at 1551 and that's this area if you go back you'll see where we stalled here last time so this brings us back to about October first part of October of 2007 where we hit the high and then dropped like a rock and that's precisely where we're at right now on the monthly chart. Taking a look here at the Dow. Now the Dow hit, has hit a record high. We've never been this high in the Dow and it's going up and it doesn't have resistance um, until we get up a bit more. Uh, the reason I'm calling that resistance based off of one point here is I do have a parallel line. This line down here, support here and support here, you bring it up to the major main swing and that gives us a about a 15,000 reading on the monthly chart. If you look here at the weekly chart, happy, 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 undecided, 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 boom, nice high base breakout. Dude's on fire. Take a look here at the daily chart. You'll see that the Dow sideways, 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 boom, and we're coming around this 14. Um, 400, 14,400 area it could be a resistance point. If it does, that will mean we did not hit this upper trend line, which we should have hit, and that will be a rolling over effect if we do start to pull back. I'm highly thinking that we have a chance of pulling back here. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is also saying we're pulling back coming into the future. Let me bring in some more data. Now, this swing high, this is March. Let's see, March 27th, 2012. This swing right here, September 17th, 2012. And let's see where we're at now. And we gapped up, came back down, closing right here. And this is March 8th, 2013. And that we have a big time hanging man reversal pattern at resistance. So this thing is poised to drop. The weekly chart, nice up channel, above all major moving averages, high base, boom, breakout. We have major resistance if we decide to go higher, right around, uh, it looks like 3283, but there's a line that I do need to add here. And I'm going to bring this up to these right there. So here, if it does start to drop, we do have some support. And take a look at the monthly chart, you'll see that we're remaining on this support line, support 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 we're off that support now you can see we making these higher swing lows but you can see that we're pinching big nasty rising wedge chances are we're going to have a bearish divergence here on this chart if you were to bring in uh, MACD on it so this thing should be falling apart here pretty soon take a look here at the banks this is the monthly on the banks it has closed it was hasn't closed yet the month is not over by a long shot we're just getting started but we are over resistance line on the monthly on the weekly you can see here we did get a close over this area we did not break down so this sell level um, did not come to fruition actually we're busting over resistance on the weekly chart looking pretty good there oh, on the daily you'll see that we're at resistance and if I go back in time and I'm gonna go back here a ways I want you to see this major touch and drop and this was a 
a pop and drop. And the pop and drop puts us around 2062, 2062. So remember, it's 2062. And let's come to where we're at now. Blow this up so we can see it. And just a reminder, gang, always go down here in the bottom right hand corner and hit full screen. We come up here and let's look at this green line too. Support, support, resistance is now resistance. So we have two resistance lines. We have that 2062 coming across as resistance and the green line coming up also acting as resistance. And we have a hanging man trend reversal pattern after several days up. We're, we touched our head here. We should start dropping. And let's also take a look here at the VIX. VIX is dropping. We're back down here near this low. Last time we hit this low, we rallied higher. We hit this low, rallied much higher. We're hitting this low again. Will we rally higher? We probably will. But let's see anybody's guess. We'll have to just see what's taking place here. And we have a lot of support areas that we're coming to on the weekly and then on the monthly. Uh, right down here at these lows yet again and let's bring in gold so if you know any people that trade gold um, share this video with them but we have resistance here support here support here we're at the support area so gold might be ready to buy we could get a nice little pop here so if you look here at the weekly chart we really haven't popped back up here to get into our buy level yet, but we are at a major support level. Support, 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 support. We're right here. So if it starts to rally, okay, we're going to have some resistance with this trend line coming down. But actually, I would take this trend line now. That's where it should have been. <coughs> Support, support, we drop, 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 drop. We rallied, 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 hit resistance. We come back down. We're at a support level coming across right here. So we could come up, but we could smack our head. We need to get back over this for us to be in a buy area. On the daily, though, this one's looking like a big time buy area. We have this falling wedge. If you bring in the MACD, you got this big bullish divergence and we have a close above this trend line this thing looks like it's ready to rally northbound so gold's looking pretty solid take a look here at silver silver not so well uh, we have this symmetrical triangle that broke down and then we broke out a major trend line symmetrical triangle and then we have this little base thing if it starts to break down that's nasty but this could turn into be like a triple bottom and rally higher so this one you got to pay special attention to on the daily on silver you look here at the weekly Gang, the weekly is at a buy area. Support, you buy it, boom. Support, buy it, boom. Support, buy it, boom. So you got if this one starts to rally higher going into next week, it could be a buying opportunity. And anyway, let's take a look here at the monthly. Just a nice pullback, a support level coming in on that. Take a look at crude oil. This here is the monthly. And I need to change this line. There. I want to show you this. I'm very anal you know, about how I draw these. There's a right and wrong way to drawing trend line support, 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 and we're at that support right now. Drawing in another line on oil, you can see that we have this symmetrical triangle. So this could break down or break up. And b this one, this one's building a lot of steam, so it's got a lot of power building in here. So there's a great opportunity. You have volume bleeding out of this, and this is setting up for a major rally or a major drop. So be watching oil big time. Look at these beautiful swings on the weekly. Beautiful, beautiful swings. Then if I were to draw a couple of trend lines here on the weekly, let's go here and. Here, I mean, look at this pull, pull back, bouncing off a of support. It's, I mean, this thing's getting ready to go northbound. It looks like we're going to break out to the north, um, f as far as the monthly is concerned. Boom, and on the weekly, boom, and on the daily here, it's just a bare pullback. Actually, it looks like it's going to want to go down. We could build a double bottom and then rally northbound. 
U.S. dollar continues to rise, but Friday we had this major gap up, closing at 0.76% in the bull zone. But all the markets closed bullish. I mean, the Dow was up over 65 points for the day. Usually you don't see that with such a rally in the U.S. dollar. And take a look here at the trend, T-R-I-N. Uh, we've been chopping around here. I'm not going to spend any time on the trend. Uh, but utilities index, look at this big high base. We could be getting a high base breakout on the defensive sector of utilities. So anyway, we give you the very best of technical analysis right here at Grok Trade. My name is Dez, and we sincerely appreciate you sharing this video with your friends. You trade commodities such as precious metals and also some other stocks and you know take a quick gander at Google it might be a buying opportunity off this high base pop Apple take a look at Apple falling wedge pop looks like Apple's getting ready to rally nice play Facebook um, nothing to write home about so maybe you know Apple traders Google traders or Facebook traders that could use this video that's it take care and listen to the message coming up Hi, my name is Mike, and I just I wanted to take a quick moment to tell you about Grok Trade's three-day mentorship program. Um, you know, the past few years have been really rough for us. Uh, I've lost a lot of money in the markets, didn't really know which ones to, would be a winning stock, and really I spent my head behind a computer a lot buried in trying to figure out what the, the charts and the graphs really mean, and analysis it was just not my thing. Um, so finally there came a point where, um, you know, I've been watching the Grok Trades three-day era, the, the free market reports and, and videos that they do, and I've always wanted to take their three-day mentoring program. However, it, it just it really, I never found the time. Uh, but finally I said to myself, you know, there's got to be a point where you just you stop losing money and you got to learn to do this right if you're going to do it at all. And that's when I made the mental commitment to go ahead and, and take the Grok's training uh, the three-day course, the three-day mentorship program has been amazing. Um, I now have the confidence that I need to be able to pick the right stocks, look at the data, throw out the fluff and get right down to what I need to look at to make the decisions. Um, and now I, I don't have the weakness in my trading strategies anymore. Um, so I only wish I really found it sooner. I know this is going to be a great thing for you. Um, you know, every trader need every trader needs to have a mentor of some kind. The Grok Trade system um, is a logical choice, and it's been fantastic for us. And I know it'll do the same for you. Thanks.